Well, thank you very much. Um, you will not find me in the official program, so please have a look at the email address or come and see me afterwards. Um, yes, we have a simulate print and cut as a digital showcase. We showed it uh, a couple of weeks ago in Frankfurt at the text process and text, tech textile. Um, we had a couple of hundred square meters where we brought together a number of machine providers and created a digital workflow where we really produced shirts and bags during the fair. Um, shirts and bags that could be customized and personalized by the people that came to our booth and came to the stand and within one or two hours they were able to get their products. So this is what we think is a major step to regionalize production, to bring production back to where the consumers are and to answer to this global fast fashion, speed fashion thing because if you produce regional it's apparently more sustainable and it's better fitting and the customers will value that it's produced locally. How does it work basically? Um, well, just the advertisement block, um, the ITF Denkendorf is Europe's largest uh, textile research center located in Germany, close to Stuttgart, close to the airport, close to the station. Whenever you want to visit us, we are covering everything in the textile supply chain from the fiber to the final product, about 300 people working there every day. So, how does it work? We stay as long as possible digital. That means we really have a 3D cut environment. We have a virtual augmented reality. So you can have a look at the digital product as long as possible. You can try it on. You can use a body scanner. You can adjust the pattern. You can adjust the color. You can modify everything towards either personalized products. You can use it as a company for fast product development, for fast prototyping, rapid prototyping. Um, and we offer this as a lab. If you come to us, we have lab tours, you can book an event, you can come with a group, whatever. We can show you everything. It's basically a digital workflow starting from the computer, starting from the CD CAD systems. We can do a virtual fit, we can create an avatar based on your body measurements, based on your size, based on your body scan, if you want to have it really person one-to-one, -one, based on the average size of your target group. Then we can produce the RIP file that has all the important color information. We know what the printer can print, so we have the dedicated color space, so we um, know exactly what is possible. Then we go to the printing. We have a couple of digital printing devices. You can either print directly on cotton, you can print on sublimation and, and do the process for polyester. A couple of uh, options. We also do research on inks. Uh, and after the printing, we still have the digital file with all the information because we print the, the cut marks and everything. So we move directly to the cutter and the cutter knows what he has to do. Um, he has a digital twin of what he has to do. Therefore, he cuts only what is necessary because we print only what is necessary. And this is also ecologically um, sound because we use only the ink where it is needed. I mean, we don't print all of the fabric, but just the pieces that we need. This is the basic setup and this is the, was developed in a couple of European projects since many, many years. It's an approved workflow and we applied this um, in many fairs now and, and as digital showcases. It's a digitized value creation. Um, you can do short ones, you can do lot size one, you can do personalized things, made to measure, seamless engineering. You can try whatever you want, you can create new new designs, you can give them a try, you don't have to order many things, you can do just digital, it's like a playground for, for designers. Uh, and this, this lab, what we have in our, in our premises is basically the, the, the core of this digital micro factory which we set up in Tech Textile and in other fairs, or ISPO for example, every now and then. Uh, this is how it looks like. These were some pictures from, from a couple of weeks ago. So we had uh, the 3D design thing where you could uh, play around. Then we had the virtual augmented reality where you could really see what you designed. Then we have the, the RIP file where you have the uh, production orders. Then we go to the printing. We do, go to the automated cutting. And what we also had as a new thing was um, automated picking. 
So we had a special robot that was able to handle textiles and take the cutted pieces, automatically transport it to the sewing, and also the sewing was digitally integrated because the sewing machine got their setting from the um, digital workflow in terms of yarn tension and um, some commands how to sew the thing. So this was just a little bit of inspiration, go digital, go with local micro factories, try to, to look for what you need. Um, we can help you, we can support you. Um, there are many ways and this really boosts creativity and boosts new business models. Thanks. Thank <laughs> you.